Hello, my name is Kainton Munonye. Here, I'm the application developer, and in this video, I'm going to make a little comparison between uh, PHP and Python. Uh, this time to be familiar to you if you actually uh, have a knowledge of uh, computer programming or maybe some sort of web design. But if not, maybe you try to take a look at my first video on this series that says uh, where to start computer programming languages. But now I'm just going to make a comparison between these two PHP and Python. I'm going to highlight a few similarities and then the differences and then I want to also help you make a choice on which, which one to choose if you are trying to learn uh, web development or web scripting which one to choose well the the two of them they are actually scripting languages they are programming languages designed for the web so use them to write scripts scripts I mean blocks of code that run on the server to handle particular uh, requests or particular actions when a user have accessed a page or a resource from his browser. So these are languages used to create scripts that run in the background to handle user requests. So that's why they are called scripting languages. So with PHP and Python, they are scripting languages. Both of them are also general purpose languages, meaning that they can be used to create programs that run on the web, programs that also run right outside the web. Both of them are lightweight and both of them are also open source. Um, PHP has been there a long time before Python. I like to say PHP means a high public processor. I think that's called a, a a PHP hyperpage processor, hyperpage processor, hyperpage, or something like that. It's called recursive acronym, so that's how the name came about. It's been there uh, a number of years before Python, and Python was developed by a German uh, early. 2000 between 2000 and 2005 or thereabout i can't remember exactly but php has been there since between the since the 90s so now what are the differences now take note php is a, a language that has been designed to work with the web a language that is designed to write codes right inside your web page so you can embed PHP codes inside the HTML page and the server interprets it. But Python was not designed like that. Python, for you to integrate it into the web page, you need to write specialized codes for you to do that. But PHP has been already done, it's created with that feature functionality. So how do you get Python running on the web? when you can just embed it in your html code well uh, a whole lot of programmers somewhere some programmers have sat down to create this uh, uh, integration of python language and html to create your web pages so these libraries or these these uh, codes that have been written for you that does this this work they are called web frameworks so it means for you to use Python on the web, you need a web framework, and this web framework is like a Python library, blocks of uh, Python codes that have been written to help you get Python work on the web. So what it means is if you don't have a web framework, it's going to be pretty difficult for you to get Python running on the web. So the most common web framework that works with Python is called Django. 
Django is also an open source tool, so it means if you are getting Python installed in your system, then the next thing you do is to also get Django installed and you get going. But PHP, if you just set up PHP in your system, uh, you can easily get uh, going with your code without uh, having any special need to, to get any specialized web framework. So I hope this has been informative for you. And before I forget, I also like to point out that if you want to start learning, I think is a uh, let's say PHP should be uh, the way to go because PHP is being more common. PHP is being uh, a programming language that is easier for you to set up. But if you want to get your outcome to to, to produce something, you see as soon as uh, as soon as uh, the soonest possible time most likely you go to use python but python helps you to it shields you away from the, the the much of the work of writing codes unlike php you have to write this codes yourself so if you want to learn and and get better knowledge you want to improve I think you would go for PHP, but if you want to get results uh, in short time, I think you will go for Python. I hope this video has been informative for you. In my next video, I will look at other programming uh, or scripting languages. So if, been, if, if it's been informative for you, please, down there, you can like my video. You can also subscribe to my channel, comment, share my video too. And uh, I'd like to thank you for viewing.